welcome to the Valley Buzz. Today we're here to kick off the Bud Light Reggae Fest at Mount Snow. you will find live reggae music all weekend long, featuring great shows at the Snow Barn and a huge party at the base of Mount Snow. Reggae music and Rasta colors aren't the only thing you'll find here at Reggae Fest. Thousands of people come to watch the Sink or Skim, where folks try to skim across a 100-foot pond. And the Reggae Fest has one of the locals' most popular events, the Duct Tape Derby. So come on, let's go jam out to some Reggae Fest activities. here at the mayhem that we call the duct tape derby where folks make their homemade sleds out of cardboard and duct tape and then try their luck on Mount Snow's icy tubing hill. Behind me you will see all of the participants of the duct tape derby. There are sharks and pirate ships, classic cars, you'll see it all here. Can't wait to see who makes it to the bottom, we're just moments away. the masterminds behind the Red Dragon. Three families, 10 kids. Who is racing this bad boy? All of you guys, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's awesome. Yep, where'd you come up with the idea? Uh, well, last year we were just thinking about it and thought of a Red Dragon. We did it last year and we wanted to do something more intense, so we thought of a Chinese dragon. How do you think you're gonna do? Good. We're gonna win. Yeah. yeah you think this puppy's gonna go fast? Yeah. Yeah? Well, good luck, guys. It looks great. right here in the heart of the duct tape derby. Lots of action going on here this year. It's fast, it's furious, it's fun, and the creativity is out of this world. from MSA that just took a fast trip down the tubing hill. How'd it feel for you guys? I think it felt pretty good. I mean, we went pretty fast and we made it all the way to the bottom, so. Yeah, it looked like your shark held up pretty well. Feel good for you guys? Yeah, yeah it felt really good. Yeah? we we'll do it again? Yeah. Definitely. Perfect. I love the hats, guys. Congratulations on making it down the hill. You have caught the essence of the Reggae Fest. Talk to me about your sled. What is it called and how'd you come up with it? Steve. Ratu's Growlers is down in Wilmington. We came here for Reggae Fest a few years ago and we brought a keg, ran out of CO2, had to go down there at like 10.30 at night and say, hey, can you lend us a tap? And they were like, sure, no problem. We're awesome and everything. And so yeah. a few years later, we were coming up with an idea we're and we were like, let's Woo! do something for Ratu because that yeah. place is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So we're representing Ratu's. And what is our sled? Show the people your sled. 
Talk That's to me about logo. it. That's the logo. That's the logo for Rattus. No That's crap the logo. on tap. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Tell me about the construction of this thing. Well, our good friend Dean, who's a mastermind behind this, works for a carpet company, so it's all cardboard carpet tubes for the most part. Uh, the paint, obviously, is spray paint. Um, and there's 36 rolls of duct tape on it. And it took about 20 hours to construct from start to finish. It is beautiful. I have one more question for you guys. Did you dread the run? You know, you oh, get it with the dreads? Yeah, that was good. bad, right? Yeah, that was no, bad. Good. good. Guys, that was a pretty fast and wild run, huh? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your sled. Um, to make it go like kind of fast, we put packaging tape on the bottom, and I kind of regret doing that because we went way too fast. And yeah. Yeah, it looks like you spun out a little at the end. Everyone, all right? Uh -huh. There yeah. you go. One of my favorite runs of the days, guys. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Goodness, what a run! What is your sled called? Uh, the Pirate's Booty. You guys look great. How'd you come up with this idea? Um, I don't know. Honestly. You don't know? Did your parents help you? Yeah, they gave, they kind of, we were between Mario Kart and uh, Pirates, so we decided on Pirates because that would be easier. Well, your sled is great, your costumes are great, your run was awesome. Was it fast? Yeah. <laughs> would you do it again? Yes. You guys are awesome. I love your sled, I love your costumes. Congratulations. Thank you. The mystery machine, debatably the most creative and fastest of the day. How'd that run feel for you guys? Awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. Talk to me a little about your sled. How'd you come up with the idea? So we all just like Scooby a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We just, we yeah. Like it, it was mainly this little. This little mainly. guy, this little one down here. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're a Scooby fan, huh? Right? Yes. <laughs> Did this make all your dreams come true? Kind yeah. of. Will we see you guys next year with another sled? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Good run out there today. We're here with Mount Snow's communications manager, Jamie Storrs. Jamie, talk to us a little bit about Reggae Fest. It's been great so far. We're on day two. We've got bands about to take the stage. We've had great shows at the Snow Barn. Everybody seems to be brave in the weather and just coming out to have a good time. It is an awesome vibe here this weekend. Tell me a little bit about this sink or skim I keep hearing about. So that was, we had it yesterday. We had over 100 competitors do battle with a 100 foot long pond. It was snowing during it, which slowed some of them down, but we did have three people make it across this year, and the winner got a season pass for next year. That was my next question, what are the prizes? I thought people were just crazy doing it. Yeah, we have two prizes for that. We've got the best crash, and the best person that makes it across. Was the so, crash pretty good? The crash was pretty spectacular. Caught their tips, full face plant. Nice. And what about this duct tape derby? What's that mayhem about? We just got done with the duct tape derby. Um, another great year for it. With the freeze thaw last night, we had one of the fastest courses we've ever had. Um, saw a couple of people make it all the way up the hill and into the B-net, and just Tons of very creative sleds and just kids and adults out having a great time. Lots of creativity there. Thank you, Jamie. It's been a great weekend up here at Reggae Fest. Check it out. Along with the snow barn at night, you'll find some great live music all weekend long on the Cousins deck.
at the Reggae Fest, you'll find live music outside all day. But after the sun drops, so does the beat, right here at the Snow Barn. One of my favorite bands is Rebel Alliance, and you'll find them inside. Rebel Alliance. From Berkshire County, North Adams, Adams regions and Boston now. So we like to say reggae inspired jam rock. Well I think we all have different influences and then when they come together they kind of make that's why like the Rebel Alliance that's where that all comes from because like I'm into reggae, you know, Wes is into like a lot of southern rock and rock and you know, blues. blues. I'm into funk. Funk guy. Me too. Yeah, it's like a funk rock. Oi oi. Like NPR. <laughs> and Mike like NPR and you know Tell by the voice. Yep. We are Rebel Alliance in Berkshire County. I hope you all enjoy this. influences are actually each other a lot more than anything else you know we we kind of write that, that um, all of us uh, are hearing and I know I play different you know stuff because of what you're playing and then what you're playing you know right um, but it's kind of like America the big melting pot like. hmm. just like America America just like America that's pretty much you know we're trying to just change the scene around you know it's like trying to make something happen in the Berkshires that's pretty much it's not covers yeah you know, like making a scene in the Berkshires and trying to get people to promote art. Mm -hmm.
We want to make the Berkshires, you know, a thriving. The, the musicians want to come and play, and but we want it to be viable. We want it to be yeah. viable as a place that that people can come and and play their art and see art. Spend the weekend. Right, um, and you know, there's a revitalization in the Berkshires uh, north to south right now, um, and it's a great time to do it. Uh, and we're trying to dovetail, you know, what we do um, with other bands that are, are like that um, in a place that it's it's ripe to do that, you know, um, and it's working. We're um, we're getting further along than um, than I expected um, you know, at first. So I'm constantly surprised in a good way. Um, with the, the, the music scene that we're fostering, and it works. It's awesome, you know. The so. is people need to be proud of where they live. <laughs> yeah. If you're not proud of where you live, nothing positive is going to come of that. But when you're like, take pride in it and you want it to be better, it's going to spread, you know. So we just try to get everybody to come out and take part in something. That's why a lot of our stuff is live. We do a lot of, you know, live albums there because that's what it is for us. It's the whole the whole crowd they want you to be a part of something um, more than just the music itself that's the community and that's the people in the crowd and you know because without them we're not the church of the rebel alliance it's great yeah that's the goal Mike Wood, um, <laughs> play guitar myself. Um, no, I'm, I'm, what, I'm, I'm Wesley Shoulders. Um, You're also having a stroke. I'm, 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 I'm done. Yeah. <coughs> Sounds good. I'm Sean O'Connor. I play saxophone, mainly alto saxophone. And I'm Al Taylor, and I play the glue that keeps them all together. Bass guitar. Uh. <laughs> what you do is you play the martyr. <laughs> RebelAllianceMusic.com. That's RebelAllianceMusic.com. <laughs> uh, and on Facebook, it's Facebook slash RebelAlliance413. And that um, will bring you to our Facebook. And then follow on us archive, on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> go on Archive. All of our stuff's on Archive. If you type in any of the Strange Creek festivals that we've played, it's all up there and numerous other things. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. You can check that out. It's, Keep It Live, it's Rebel Alliance, Keep It Live, I'm pretty sure. That's our YouTube channel, all of our videos and everything. Um, yeah, check it out, become a part of it. You know, don't just sit there. We want you. We want you to go to Rage Town.
amazing weekend here at the Bud Light Reggae Fest at Mount Snow. For coverage on other local events, make sure you tune in to the Valley Buzz, airing exclusively on Vermont Television Network. For Vermont Television Network, I'm Taryn Lawrence. I'll see you next time. Drink on is it though. <laughs> 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 Raise your hand if you haven't been here. Check it too. I know, I'm not even that short, you're just tall. I'm pretty tall. Yeah. Funny how that happens. We love your mom.